Do you ever wish you could hit a do-over button? Maybe you said something and it came out wrong. Or maybe you forgot the birthday of someone important in your life. Or maybe there are big life choices you wish you could go back and change. There are plenty of examples of people going on to do big things with their second chance. Michael Jordan didn't originally make the high school varsity basketball team, but he went on to win six NBA championships. Albert Einstein was expelled from school because his teachers thought he was mentally handicapped and slow to learn. He went on to win the Nobel Prize and radically changed the way we look at physics. Henry Ford had multiple failed business attempts that left him broke before he founded the successful Ford Motor Company. Wilma Rudolph was a former polio survivor who went on to win Olympic medals in track and field despite spending many years in a brace. Being given a second chance can change us dramatically. Did you know that many people who have experienced a near-death experience report electrical interference with devices? Weird, right? When they get near radios and television sets, they sometimes experience some level of interference. It's like that second chance changed their body on a physiological level. But there's even more real proof that second chances can be effective at changing our behavior forever. A report published in 2013 studied the recidivism rate of inmates in correctional facilities who had received parole from a life sentence. This means they studied how many inmates who were given a life sentence with a chance of parole and then were released from prison ended up back in jail. They found that very few people who were given a life sentence but were then paroled ever ended up back in prison. Even more interesting is that the recidivism rate was drastically lower than people who received a shorter sentence and were let out after serving that full sentence. What is it about being given a second chance and being let out early that encourages people to change their behavior moving forward? It could be related to the weight of a long sentence being forgiven. Some countries even have second chance celebrations. In the United States, since 2017, every April has been marked as Second Chance Month. It's a time to focus on the importance of helping people who were formerly incarcerated re-enter society. Having a past criminal record can affect your ability to get a job, get housing, and otherwise re-enter society. This is even sometimes referred to as a second prison. It can be tempting to judge people who have a past full of serious mistakes and crimes, but offering a true second chance is important for helping people not end up committing the same crimes and mistakes that got them in trouble in the first place. William Freeman III, who works in policy justice, commented on Second Chance Month saying, quote, we know young people from low income backgrounds who commit crimes may never recover from an early misstep because of exclusionary policies. We know that there is a school to prison pipeline and that some so-called second chances are in fact people's first chances, end quote. Among the many sayings that have been attributed to the great Chinese philosopher Confucius is this one, quote, we have two lives and the second begins when we realize we only have one, end quote. What if we all could be given a second chance so radical that we could begin a truly new life? This is the Catechism of the Catholic Church. It's the official summary written by the Church of everything Catholics believe. But if the contents of this catechism are unlocked, it can change the world. We believe the catechism isn't a dry, dusty textbook. It's a gift. It's the faithful echo of a God who desires to reveal himself to us. We're creating content that's relevant, watchable, the type of content you want to share with your friends. And all of this will be free to the world and translated into multiple languages. Relationships are that way for sure. It's about getting to know someone and then trusting that person. Relaciones son así. Se trata de conocer a alguien y luego confiar en eso. Dépendez fréquemment de la foi des gens en lui et en son pouvoir. Un dia da fé nas pessoas nele. Jesus também foi un modelo de fé porque confiou. We're transforming the letter into a living voice for the modern world. We're creating videos, stories, animations, podcasts, social media. We're creating content that's relevant, watchable, the type of content you want to share with your friends. To help people fall in love with the catechism, the church, and the heart of the catechism, Jesus. Join us and help unlock the catechism for the world. 
join in the project to retransform the letter into a living voice.